Yo, what is up my brothers? This is Enemy Stan User today and we have a really, really crazy and wacky chapter to go over with chapter 169, Tokyo Number 1 Colony, Part 9, and wow, what an insanely awesome chapter with us getting to see just how much crazy crackhead energy you could fit into one chapter, but Gigi keeps dropping banger after banger and this one focusing on Takaba is just what I like to see. Full-fledged wacky combat and I did not even drop a smile reading this chapter, but without lingering on too long, remember to like the video and subscribe if you are new for more content like this, and let's dive right into this crazy chapter. The chapter starts where we left off last week, and Takaba Fumihiko is now in the fray and helping Megumi in his fight against Reggie and Hazanoki, and Takaba states he could tell whether someone is evil or not just by looking at their face even saying Megumi's face still looks evil as well, but he would compromise with Megumi. And Takaba's straightforwardness really reminds me of like a sorcerer like Yu Bar, remember him, and how upbeat and outgoing and honest he was, even mentioning his age right off the bat, like there's nothing weird about that at all, but Megumi decided to trust him for the time being. Reggie and Hazanoki kind of confer with one another to see what era of sorcerer they're dealing with saying which are you and Takaba takes their question as to see if he is funny or not funny and keeps on rambling saying his costume is like a homage to a hometown hero that first made him burst out laughing and he wants to do the same for others and he's kind of mustering up something inside him saying he can't make a joke that doesn't land and is about to use a gag on them even Reggie and Hazanoki were expecting him to pull something off but he says an incredibly corny joke. That's none of your biznet. You know, like instead of business, it's it's biznet like Wi-Fi and I, I, I don't know, guys. This dude, <laughs> this dude's a gobble out of pocket pure for that shit. JJK energy right off the bat. And of course, the joke doesn't land and it is a tough crowd. Megumi, Reggie, and Hazanoki are pretty confused and unimpressed with Takaba's performance, but his attitude turns a full 180 when he sees their reaction and he says, and I'm reading straight from the translation here, you crappy audience, there's always people like you who left their smiles in the uterus, What? but sits in the front row seats of the theater anyways. However, I will not abandon you guys because- Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! And he just suplex drop kicks my boy Hazanoki in the face, sending him flying. And I know how Reggie regard, uh, well, I like how Reggie regards Takaba's strength and his cursed energy output. Like he has to really watch out for this crazy crackhead and this weird guy. And uh, how Megumi, he immediately, he gets this vibe from Takaba, kind of like how Toto is in a way, because there's just something going on with people in this manga of Jujutsu Kaisen with people's minds when they are sorcerers, especially people like, you know, Toto or Hik Hakari, Chozo, they just have a one track mind and it just goes off the rails whether they're tilted or not. Megumi then attacks Reggie from his shadows and misses and informs his partner Takaba to separate their enemies and says H Hazanoki actually has reverse curse technique and of course Takaba is extra, extra weird about it, getting a little bit too close to Megumi, and then checks to see uh, Higuruma's points from his Kagui and sees that Yuji actually succeeded and they don't have anything left to do in this colony at the moment anymore, and telling Reggie to leave. But Reggie says he is in no position to negotiate, seeing how he killed Hari and wants his points back. Hazanoki is back up and Megumi wants Takaba to take his points even if it means killing him. But Takaba's way of doing things are really weird and strange and he would he would beat him up. But as a comedian, he won't do something that would permanently take away someone's smile. He gets the okay from Megumi and goes on full on weird mode. Azanoki activates his curse technique, blasting it at Takaba, but he deflects it with this strange floppy thing and rushes at Iori exchanging hands and slaps his eye letting Takaba get behind him and perform the 1000 years of death jutsu. I don't care what it is called that is the only reference I know and this is for sure the goofiest moment in JJK history and Hazanoki he just gotta hold that. 
he got clowned by a clown. He just has to hold that L. And he tried to fight back, but Takaba, he smacked his stuff into another year. Man, Takaba is super strong. But Megumi mentioned he's glad he's on Takaba's side, and Takaba's happy just to help, and they separate their ways into their different battles. Reggie kind of doubts Takaba, saying, now that Hazanoki's mad, he'll fight seriously now, but Megumi still on that offensive murder mode that he was on before he tells reggie to worry about himself now that he fulfilled his objective here in this colony nothing is stopping him from giving it his all and not holding back the chapter ends with reggie and megumi facing off and the next issue with reggie's strength going to show so finally megumi is about to have a proper 1v1 battle against a potentially high level opponent and I think that is something that I wanted to see for the longest time. Megumi has all of these moves and abilities, but I feel they were only used against more fodder people or curses, like, than what I'd like to see more. I would love to see Megumi really take charge or even struggle a bit against Reggie. You know, Yuji has fought a heap of people like Chozo, Mahito, Yuta, Higurume, and all these really high class fighters, but Megumi, I think, he needs to have that validation of him at least fighting someone around his level now that he all, he has all these tools like domains and all these curse techniques. And if, I, if I'm going to think of Megumi, I really want to think of when he pulled something off impressive that left a mark in my mind against high level dudes. And I don't know if y'all feel the same way, but I'm sure Megumi is really going to make waves. But man, this chapter was insane going over to Kaba. This dude is an absolute nut job and I love to see it. I thought we would maybe see Nanami's ratio ability. I don't know what Gigi has in mind with his power. It could be the seven to three curse technique ratio, but it also could just be his own crazy wacky, you know, joke, joke technique. And something I thought of too, is he may not even want to use a deadly technique like the seven to three ability if he does have it because that curse technique would definitely do some damage and he doesn't like it seems like he doesn't um, want to kill anyone in his own sort of wacky mind but he absolutely does not he does fine just on his own takaba is crazy crazy strong and just ragdolling this dude hazanoki i thought it was really cool we did get to see other sources with reverse technique reverse curse technique too and i'm excited to see um what reggie has in store and what he's gonna pull out with his power maybe like a maximum technique or a domain possibly the manga really makes it seem like reggie knows his stuff and has a pretty good understanding over like cursed energy and sorcery like a leader in some way but still again takaba just radiates that pure wacky over the top jjk energy and is really just something else with all those gag moves and I, I mean this dude really pulled out the naruto 1000 years of death move i cannot stop smiling from that and takaba he's just on something else and this chapter was really insane thank you guys anyway for watching this coin game arc is really really fun to read just imagine if we're getting this kind of energy now and just imagine how how everyone else is doing in their colonies because these new sorcerers honestly just radiate this pure crackhead energy and they are really high off their own power and their mental state is long gone yaga did say if you are a sorcerer you're going to be a little crazy and this is definitely evident here remember please to like subscribe and to share this video if you want to see more content like this and i hope uh today to get a double upload in today with my analysis on ghetto sugru but if not you'll see that on monday maybe but and this has been enemy stand user and i'll see you guys in the next one take care bye bye